professor dominate another opponent at the highest level yet again. One of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Undisputed at Cameroon, Kat Mukal. Knockout of the year. Knockout of the year. What a debut for Abraham Vidalas out of Monterey, Mexico. That will do it. The Mexican sensation has done it again. And he's ready for a title opportunity. He's in the prime of his career, ladies and gentlemen. Max Pameron, Kian Mukau with a career-defining victory. Ladies and gentlemen, the first of four championship bouts this evening will take place in the featherweight division, scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Let's meet the challenger. He won his first four glory bouts, three of those by knockout. His professional record, 15 wins with just one loss. 12 of those 15 wins have come by way of knockout. He stands 5 feet 11 and 1 half inches, 1.82 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 142.9 pounds, 64.8 kilos. He's here tonight in Arnhem, all the way from Monterrey, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Abraham Vidali. His opponent opposite the ring and fighting out of the white corner, a two-time world Muay Thai champion, four-time Thai national champion. His professional record, incredible, 168 wins, 36 losses, three draws, and 27 career knockouts. At five feet, seven inches tall, 1.71 meters, he weighed in at 143.1 pounds, 64.9 kilos. He's here tonight out of the Buriram province of Thailand and is the reigning and defending glory featherweight champion of the world. He is the professor, Pat Palamru. Referee in charge of this bout is Edward Stryker. Protection? My protection. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys, listen. Gl glory title. Five rounds of three minutes. Yeah. Protect yourself all times, yeah, and listen to my comments. Any questions? No question. Throw the gloves if you want. Back to your corner. I'll tell you what, Abraham Vidalis could not have been in any better shape. Look at his physique. Judge! Yeah, just shredded. Judge! Judge, time. Here we go. Five Fight. rounds for the glory featherweight championship of the world. Petch Panamarong in the white gloves. Abraham Vidalis in the black. Vidalis does have Muay Thai experience, so he says he can kind of play that game a little bit, right? He's used to seeing this. But Vidalis, a big technical fighter. Good combinations. Nice kicks as well. Look at Ooh. Petch with the hands. And Abraham's got to wake up quick. Hey. Yeah. Right? Petch is working on Fight. his boxing and showing already. Oh, yeah. Wait. Ooh, put him in combination too earlier. Everything working for Petch here in the first 30 seconds. See, even Petch kicking the inside leg is good. Then he goes back to the body. Now Vidalis gets a low kick in of his own. What's the key to beating Petch? Well, for me, you got to let those hands go. Those kicks are so good. He's good at blocking. He's good at throwing them. I feel as Petch kicks, you got to drive your right hand and kind of throw in combination. For me, if I'm Vidalis, I'm looking for a cross hook, cross combination right down the pipe. You can't just sit there and, and wait for him to hit you. Yep, you have to throw something. Body kick from Vidalis. Got to stay busy against Petch. Yep. Look how hard he even throws little inside low kicks. Everything is power. That's the level changes he's getting better with. You never know what level that left kick's coming from. That's how he gets his knockouts. 
And as small as he is, he fights so much bigger, you think, I'm out of the range of that kick, and he pops you in the head with it. But you've already seen hard inside low kicks, hard body kicks, two, three times hard head kicks. So where does Vidalis block? He has no clue, all right? So for me, you gotta protect the head, but if the guard goes up, it opens up the elbows. Double high kick, is that what I saw? It was so fast. I, I've never seen that. that. Left kick of Petch, man, something different. And he's so relaxed. Many people who follow Muay Thai, Muay Thai will know who Senchai is. He's kind of getting into that realm where he's just almost looks like he's not even trying. He's so relaxed. Yep. I think of guys like Sitachai, Sanchai, Petch. Some of the best to transition over to kickboxing. Bua Cow, the original. This has not been a good round for Vidalis. You got to think, Petch used to five rounds. He'll stay like this all five rounds, Petch. He doesn't waste a lot of energy, but when he lands, it's powerful. Ooh. It right. oh, right. right into there. Looked like Draymond Green right. with that punch. He doesn't even look like he's trying to put energy behind it. It's just naturally heavy. That's what 207 right. professional fights will do. Fighter profile on the professor as he's known. Said he started training at seven years old. It's the only life I've ever known. Muay Thai and kickboxing are everything to me. And he won the Rise Super Lightweight World Championship between his last time we saw him in glory. He travels the world to beat everybody up. Yeah, he represented glory there, beating their champion. Well done. The dentist here, we know his Right middle kick is his shot, which is going to be tough with Petch tonight, being a, a Muay Thai specialist. Dentist outside the ring, but for me, it's his technical side that makes him very good. This is a big jumping competition for him, but he seems game, but needs a little bit more here. Round two. Fight! Nadalas has worked extremely hard to get back to glory and to get this opportunity does not want to let it pass him by. Round one, a good one for Petch. All five judges scoring it for the tie. You wouldn't be able to tell from strikes landed, Joe, but the ones with more forceful impacts yep. certainly coming from Petch. Well, I think Vidalis needs to be more active, just good, like that. Good left from Vidalis, sorry. Yeah, he needs to put combinations together. Singles aren't going to work against Petch. Waiting is not going to work either. He has to bring the fight. He has to commit just like that. Put two, three strikes together. You're not going to win throwing a single. That right hand versus the left kick is the key. But don't stop at that right hand. Go left hook, right hand again. And then maybe mix in that right body kick you're known for. Petch is so good at defending kicks as well. I think you're right, Joe. You've got to beat him with the hands or you're just not going to beat him. Right, no, it's, back. It's, the, it's the key. Fight. But another thing for me, it's using feints. I mean, you got to get Petch to bite on something, right? You got to feint. Maybe he throws that kick a little bit, then you can slip and counter back. He's sharp, but it's something, right? More hands for Petch. More than we're right. used to seeing. Right. A lot of passion all week from the corner of Abraham Vidalis. You can hear some faint Mexico chants from the crowd here. He's got about half dozen people here with him. Ooh, that's a low blow. The white corner, please. Can you imagine a left kick low blow from Petch? Your childbearing days might be over. Take your time. Unless you have a cup on. Cheap vasectomy there, eh? <laughs> Never seen this before. Yeah, no, the heel bounce helps. But I've never been kicked that hard okay. there before. In a weird way, it's bouncing on your heels was a, a, a trick to kind of help the pain. Really? Yeah. You learned, I learned it young in Taekwondo. Yes. Right here. Doing it ever since. The old high. It's an accident, but watch out. Heel yes. bounce. Okay. 
Round of applause for Vidal surviving that encounter. And here we go. Minute 13 to go in the second. Scheduled for five rounds. As all glory title fights are. Oh. See, all I think about is where's that left kick going? I'm sure Vidalis is thinking the same thing. Because if Petch goes to the body, he has to drop his right elbow. So if it goes upstairs, that's where we get the finish. Yeah, see? Petch closing the distance. Nice high kick there from Vidalis. Ooh. I asked Petch this week, does he still feel like a Muay Thai fighter that's doing kickboxing? He said, no, I'm 100% kickboxer now. I'm no longer a Muay Thai fighter. You see him, he's not really clinching anymore. He's boxing well. You can definitely see his involvement with level changing. Break! It's the back. Vidalis clinching. Fight! Vidalis just trying to find a combination to the lock, so to speak. How do I get in? How do I rock this guy who's never really been rocked before? Another good strategy versus Petch Break. for me. If you can fight Southpaw, maybe go at him Southpaw. Woo. Take away that left kick in a different angle for him. Let's hear now from both of these fighters on what they expected in this battle. <laughs> Well, that's okay. That's what he thinks, you know. Uh, we both train for, for this big day, and I, I respect him as well, but I don't fear him, you know. I'm ready for this one, and, and Saturday night, you, you will see. Well, what are we seeing, Joe? Well, I think he's, he's there, but I find he's getting more comfortable. You know, I think that first round was a little bit more like, man, this is a title fight. This is Petch. And I think this, this second round here, we saw a little bit more from him, a little bit more confidence what? throwing. See, already here, you see that movement, the popping of the jabs. He's, he's starting to get comfortable. He's feeling an understanding for the power of his kicks. He's able to understand the power. See, now he's even fainting with his kicks. Yep. Mixing well, the hands. All five judges break, break, gave, break. gave rounds one and two Fight. to Petch, so Vidalis has to get busy. Oh, boy, that one climbed the ladder quick. Yeah, it's I'm telling you, it's one of the best left kicks. Oh, he could just he could just push you everywhere. Break! Step back! It's like a Fight. game control joystick. He could kick you to the left, kick you to the right, push you against the ropes. It's very basic, but very effective. There was a perfect example of the distance control Petch has. He landed his low Break. kick, Break. but Vidalis couldn't Break. land his despite Break. Petch Break. being four inches shorter. Fight! That double left kick from Petch, man, something else so fast. Good timing with them. Petch has had over 200 professional fights, but he's still only 27. I mean, in Thailand, whoa. Stand up. Nice little sweep there yeah. from Vidalis. Fight! Vidalis using his left leg a little bit more. That Petch kick went right under the elbow, which is the oh, liver. And he, 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 he returns the favor. Well, here we go. Good right hand there Break. by Vidal. Yeah, snuck it in. Fight! You know, it could be one of those little temple shots that one day catch up to Petch. Something Break. that looks innocent. Nice working in the clinch, For me, please. it's almost like Fight. you have to catch him. It's yep. hard to outplay the game with him. You know, if you play his game, you know, it's, it's his. He's too good with it, too experienced. So you almost have to try to catch him, try to surprise him with something. But also, he's a master of distance control. He's either all in or all out. But right there, break off the clinch and try to box and try to be unorthodox. What? Be scrappy. I like that from Vidalis. Be the bully a little bit. Yeah. You're four inches taller. You're longer. Stay in his face. Keep going. Come back again. Counter again. Double it up. Break. Fight. You can see Petch give him a little nod of approval. 
He's impressed by what Vidalis is doing here in the third. In my curriculum at my gym, we call it two to three combination drill. After you throw one combo, take a quick pause, go again. Pause, go again. One combo and move isn't enough. Oh, for punch. big front kick right. from Petch. Fight! I was going to say Vidalis might be winning this round, but Petch trying to close strong. See, this is the Vidalis right. fight that he needs. Is it enough? Probably not, but it's better. That's the key. Keep going at it. He's gotten better each round. Have you checked out GloryShop.com? It is your destination for all the latest Glory merch, including signed event posters and athlete collabs, including the new Goliath T-shirt, which is available now. GloryShop.com. You can see a lot of the sweeps here in this replays. Dallas catching the kick, sweeping down. You see Petch. All right, I'll get you back. <laughs> Go right under that block leg. And then Petch, oh, right there, right in the throat. <laughs> but you look at Petch's face when he does it. He's smiling. He's having so much fun in there. Look at him. Look at him. He just loves what he does. Look at him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's see if any of the judges gave that round to the Mexican. I think that would be great success for him, right? To say go, earlier in your career Fight. like this, I mean, something for him to take from it. That he won a round? Oh, hey. Hey, come on. Against one of the most dominant fighters. No can do. All five right. giving it to Patch as we okay, enter guys. the championship Fight. rounds. So Vidalis will need to do something that no man in glory has done before. Knock Patch out. Fight. It's got to happen someday. Or so you would think. Hold him. Let go. Fight! 46 kicks for Petch, 38 for Vidalis. He's not getting blown out, that's for sure. He may have lost every round, but they've been relatively close. Yeah, look at total strikes landed, Joe. Yeah. Right. He's trying to come right. back. He's trying to be Fight. first. Just Petch's range. Too good. Just outside, just inside. Flying left kick. Why not? Vidalis is dangerous when he times the right hand when Petch throws the left kick. Ooh. It's like, there's a big yeah. left hand, a right hand, excuse me, Vidalis. Nice sneaky uppercut from Petch. Uppercut from Vidalis. Right. But you see right away when Vidalis Fight. starts blocking, what does Petch do? He slides his way in. He kind of clinches up with you, presses you back so you can't box. When I talk about range control, either all out or all in. Right. Vidalis, 15 and 1 overall, 12 of his wins by knockout. So he's got power. He's going to need it. If he wants to win this fight, has to put Petch down. And there's severe bruising on the inside of the left leg of Vidalis. Vidalis busier in this round for the first time. It was a nasty low kick there to the back leg from Petch. You know, Joe, if he can land that right hand right when the left kick comes, Petch's hand is down. Right. Yeah, it, it's an option, but watch what Petch does but, every time Vidalis throws the right hand. He finds the left kick underneath. He's good at timing it, see? So to shut off a, a, a right hand as a southpaw, you keep kicking the arm. That's what Petch does. But as soon as Vidalis throws that hand, he'll kick underneath the arm. That's where the, the amazing timing from Petch is. He kicks right under the right cross. That's why they call him the professor. He's extremely intelligent. It's the timing, how he'll get under that right elbow of Vidalis. Right. Stand up. Fight! One round to go here for the featherweight championship of the world. A lot of work for Vidalis to do. Nice little right uppercut in this replay for Vidalis. And then right away you see Petch kind of closing that distance, trying to throw his knees. 
But man, I'm really enjoying Petra's left straight as well. He's landed it with some good power. Mixing in his right hook. Definitely improved boxing from him. Fifth and final round, it has been all about Thailand, this fight. Not much Mexico. Another round of patch. So Vidalis has to do something ultra dramatic here. Break, break, break. The auto, one kick, let him go. Fight! Nice refereeing there by Edward Stryker. Yeah, very good referee. Slowly becoming one of break. my favorites. Come back, fight! Who is your favorite? Uh, I, I was a big Paul Nichols fan back in the day, since we haven't seen him in a bit. Edward's starting to win that spot. <laughs> Hope Paul's not watching right now. Well, if he was here, you know, different maybe. Double kick. Yep, the front kick's nice. Now, when a fighter expects a round kick, that's when you mix the front kick. Ooh, that one High went kick through. Partially blocked, and thank God for Vidalis. Yep, round kick, front kick. Mixing up the, the straight versus round. Double kick there from Vidalis. He learned that from Petch last round. And he learned a lesson Ray! from the professor. Step back. Yeah. Listen, guys. No concern whatsoever Fight. on the face of Adrian Sheed. Nothing. Adrian opening a, a new gym in Vancouver, Canada. Good luck to him. His young son, already a nice little Muay Thai yeah. fighter. What is he, eight now? Yeah, Drake's killing it. Right. Let's go, guys. Well, if he's got Petch to help him, he's going to be a future world champion, that's for sure. There's some hands from Vidalis. He needs to try and turn this into a boxing match, doesn't he? Yeah, we were Break. calling for it earlier. Break. He needs to become Canelo. Fight! The pressure's there, the determination's there. The fitness is there, the physique. Break. You're just asking him to beat an all-time great. He's not just a champion, Joe. He's one of the greatest glories ever had. Yeah, and you got to think, Vidalis for the first time started training full-time for this camp. He was always in school. He was working. So he took, I believe, seven weeks to prepare for this full-time as a fighter for the first time. You know, only 16 professional Break. fights. So he's just going to get better. Listen, guys. I can almost guarantee we'll see Vidalis fight for a, a world title one more time. Fighting out of Monterey, Mexico. He's the current ISKA Mexico welterweight champion. Break. Fight! Break! Guys, rookie in the cleans. Let's go. Fight! Seconds left. Right. Right. Fight. Easy peasy for the Professor Petch Pamarong, who probably pitched a shutout here tonight. And Joe, I don't know if anyone is going to not just beat Petch, but even win around from this guy. I know. He's just so dominant, man. It's just impressive to watch. He's almost like the Mayweather now. He barely gets hit. We can't really see him get hurt. Have we ever seen him in trouble yet? It's just incredible. The decision when we return. We welcome you back to Arnhem, the Netherlands, and here are our five round highlights. The left kick specialist just continue to be dominant, mixing levels with it. A lot of inside leg kicks. This one a little low. But he mixed well to the body. We saw improved boxing from him with that left straight. But ultimately, he stepped, kept to his guns that left kick from all different level changes. Singles, doubles, flying knees. Just dominant from all rounds. Barely gets hit. A master of distance control. He's outside throwing left kicks, front kicks. On the inside, he's throwing hands. Putting you in positions where you can't hit him. And a lot of those head kicks, man, one inch would have been a big finish for him. I know he's motivated for finishes, but he 
got close a few times in that fight. So a couple of good moments for Vidalis, but overall it was all catch. 68 of 102 kicks, and boy, were they painful. I'm sure Vidalis will tell you all about it. Strikes by round, fourth and fifth. Abraham landed more, but Petches may have been a little more strong or damaging. Did he win that fifth round? That's the only drama we're about to hear as we go to Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. One judge scores it 49-46. The four remaining judges all have it 50-45. A unanimous decision for your winner. And still, featherweight champion of the world, Pet Padabroon Presenting the belt is our head of talent operations, Robbie Timmers. I'm here with your winner, Petch Panamaroon. Another dominant win. How do you feel after a performance like that? He said he's very happy to be back in the glory ring. Um, he's happy that all the Dutch fans are here and everyone supporting him around the world. Well, you were so dominant, it looked like you were having fun. How do you rate a performance that's so dominant for you? ก็ขอบคุณครับก็ต้องชื่นชมคู่ต่อสู้ครับพี่ดาเลสครับเขาเป็นคู่ยกที่แข็งแกร่งคนนึงครับก็วันนี้ก็เหนื่อยเหมือ